What's going on guys? So I had a conversation with this lawyer a few rides ago. It made me realize something. You know, I think when I had all that money that I had, that inheritance, um, I wasn't happy due to the fact that, you know, I had no purpose. I had no plan, no purpose. I didn't know nothing other than I want to get more money. I made my life money first, happiness and etc second and that's the reason why i ended up losing and not having anything because i had no no direction okay so we we're talking she was talking about how her friends you know because she and her husband is million they're millionaires and they got it from the mud you know first generation cubans and um for the most part um she was saying that they don't care about all the materialistic things all the, the things that yesterday i was trying to explain to you guys that people who are um making money happen to make money based off of the career that they chose um normally nine times out of ten uh, they're going to be i just got another 19 dollar ride that we are going to take um 15 miles for uh, um 20 dollars we're going to knock that out but when you do money when you do things when you do things for the money okay um first it's going to cause complications problems headache um negativity in your life but when you do the thing that makes the money you do it for the purpose of that whatever it is you know serving the public you know being a lawyer you know if you're a musician making music and then you make money second whatever happens happens you know you do lift for example and you're driving lift and whatever you make is in your account you don't care you just pay your bills but the work comes first and you actually enjoy doing this because you're um you know serving the public um you know having good conversations making some people happy you know you're just going with the flow and you feel like this is an easy gig job for you to do for the time being that is purpose that you're putting in your life and now the money comes second you're just better off you're just more happy because she was saying her friends or other friends you know lawyer friends are always unhappy and miserable i'm like yes because like when i inherited that money i didn't have purpose i just got money i was given money i was given a house so like i was living with no purpose i was just living for money i was living for chasing money i had enough money i didn't have to chase money i could have lived in a house and just use the money that I had in the account to pay my property tax and my bills every month. And I would have made a little bit of interest off that and I could have went and got a job, like like nonprofit job, anything. Like something just to, you know, um, make some money, but to give me purpose, to give me something to do. But I didn't choose that. I chose to, to invest in things that was going to put money in my pocket first and et cetera last. And that caused the complications in my life, okay? So, you know, now with me, you know, doing Lyft, I want y'all to understand, like, the reason why I'm happy is because I'm coming on here, I'm creating content um, based off of conversations I'm having with people. You know, I'm cheering people up that are having a bad day. Some people, I just get them where they need to go and we just keep it moving. But for the most part, you know, that's giving me a good feeling, making me, you know, you know feel good uh, about, for the most part, myself. Now, let me say this, okay? Y'all don't have to tell me how to do YouTube, okay? Those that y'all telling me. I know I said I'm gonna stop and acknowledge the haters, but I'm gonna continue if it's something that people want to see. And I saw a comment that made me want to and bring this up, okay? Um, this is from Yo Tap In, okay? He said, I agree, Dennis. When you hit big on uh, the gambling, you went with the electric car, the apartment, everyone was on you. Uh, everybody started joining as a member, um, actually paying, even paying for it. Um, everyone wanted to know how you did it. Everyone wanted in on it. Now they go back to acting like this, acting like haters, okay? That's it, okay? We ain't gonna act like it's rocket science, okay? When you are on one minute, and appreciate that comment, by the way, your tap. Um, when you are one minute, you know, cool with somebody and you're like showing all the love in the world and you're making that person feel good uh, about themselves, but then the next minute you're spewing, you know, shots at that person, then don't try to play victim you know, when that person calls you out. I'm gonna continue holding y'all um, down um, for, you know, insulting and trying to disrespect, but then trying to be cool the next minute. But back to the point, um, with me doing YouTube, okay, I'm putting money second because I actually enjoy doing this when, I'm, when I have more good conversations with people than not, okay? Um, I enjoy doing this over gambling and, and all the other stuff, sports betting and picks and all that because that money is hit or miss, okay? And when I do those things, that's me putting the money first. The only time when I hit 25,000 in like two weeks, when I hit the 10K in like a week, that happened because 
I was not res expecting it to happen. I was just doing it because I enjoyed betting on March Madness. I this basketball tournament. I enjoyed watching the games, and I knew the games were going to go a certain way. So I enjoyed betting on that. So I bet on it, and when it started working out for me, I just made bigger bets, bigger bets, bigger bets, and I made mon money. I made. But then that two week mark of the twenty five thousand, for example. I started doing it as a business. I started doing it because I had to do it to make more money. I had enough money. I had enough money that I could have just stopped doing it and went back to doing Lyft every day. I would have been set. I would have been good. And I could have worked up, you know, bought phones, did some things that were reliable, that were guaranteed. But instead, I was chasing the money and it caused me to go and um, do it for the money. And it made me miserable and happy, angry to where on YouTube I stopped coming on here because I was just mad and angry because it wasn't going my way. That's what happens when you do things for the money, okay? So, you know, right now in my life, um, you guys are gonna see me, when you don't see my forehead doing this all day, like on a whole video, then you know I'm in a good mood, I'm happy. You know, everything's chill. So that's the reason why, you know, with me doing Lyft right now, and I'm doing it because I enjoy doing it and I'm happy to be making money um, with it that's allowing me to pay my bills, that's the reason why I am doing it. You know, because, once again, it's not for the money, it's for, you know, me and my purpose, which is right now serving the public. I gotta take it one day at a time though. I'm gonna do this for a whole year, for the next year, and I'm gonna try to, my best. I'm gonna try my best. I'm not gonna act like I got it all figured out. I might have hiccups. I might not freaking do it in a month. And I have to smack myself back to reality. But I'm gonna try my best as hard as I can to stick with um, doing this gig work um, for the next, um, this gig work for the next year because nothing can happen but me go up. Nothing but going up, okay? So that's what so that's what we got with that, okay? Um, second thing I was talking about, okay? Like, I don't want anybody trying to tell me what... Look, I understand my bills and everything are too much for some people, okay? And even in reality, too much for me. But right now, my bills are $4,500, okay? It is what it is. So you telling somebody who has bills that are 4,500 that they shouldn't have that high of bills that they need to, um, you know, not have that and like do something else. How is that gonna help if the person is is in the middle of paying that and they're stuck doing that? No, encourage the person, say, hey, go do this, go do that. Like you're doing good if you're able to afford it. You know, like don't discourage the man when you know there's no way out of that debt, out of that, you know, money uh, pitfall. That's what I don't want around me. So it was a couple people that was talking to me about that. I'm like, dude, I don't want to hear that. Don't tell me I can't do something. That's the worst thing you can do to somebody is tell them they can't do nothing. Just allow that person to work and cook, you know? Like, I would never tell you to stop doing what you're doing because guess what? 10 years from now, I want to laugh at me paying, being stressed over $4,500 um, a month. Now, let me tell you all this. With me doing Lyft the way I'm doing it right now, I don't have to do nothing else. Right now, I'm set up to make $5,000 a month. Now, the way I factored that 4,500 up was $1,000 for gas, $1,000 for the car, uh, $2,500 for rent, okay? And then now we have an additional $500 for miscellaneous, you know, kids and, and, and whatever such other stuff, okay? Now, the reason why I said 4,500 is because I have $1,000 coming from other things that is guaranteed. So that's the reason why I nipped it down to $4,500, okay? Now, worst case scenario with Lyft this year, I'm gonna make, you know, five thousand dollars a month worst case scenario now you factor all that stuff in i'm not making enough money to save i'm not making enough money to you know do anything but pay bills which in reality sounds nasty but you gotta look at it in this at this point i'm not planning on doing lift forever you know it might go this whole year but in between i'm hoping to find another job that pays either the same or more that's more um uh, financially together but you gotta remember my place is $2,400 a month for utilities, parking, and everything. And I broke it down as in, right now, with you know me planning on getting an EV, I thought I was gonna have it by now, but hey, I'm gonna EV charge for free every day. That's $500 in value, okay? So you got $500 in EV value charging, okay? At my place, parking. I ra I'll pay $10 a day to have parking where I don't gotta like, like jump over hurdles to find somewhere to park. So that's $300 in savings I get off of the parking. Secondly, okay, so that's eight hundred dollars, okay. So now, secondly, you have you know location, you have the rent, you have somebody calling me. Y'all can hear the conversation. Let's see what we got here. Hello. Uh, hello. Can hey. you see my location? 
Uh, you put yourself, your pen, you put it behind the building, behind um, the tellies, but I can come wherever you're at. Where are you at? Uh, we are at the, uh, uh, at the Michael Kors. Okay, can my car come into that Michael Kors location? Because I don't know where that's at, but I'll try to find it. Oh, okay, but we are outside. Oh, okay, uh, give me a second. I'll try to find it. All right, here, no problem. That's the worst when people put the pin at the wrong spot and then you're supposed to be a psychic and find where they're at. Like, you know you put the pin at the wrong spot, okay? Like, come on, bro. But back to the point, okay? Uh, and that's one of the funny things, things I have to deal with, okay? Uh, but it's, it's all good, okay? So back to the point. You know, my apartment, I value it at, you know, the parking, the EV charging, you know, that's $800 in value. So that cuts me down to $1,600. Now, I guess I could shave $500 off a month, which would be about, you know, what, $6,000 a year um, by getting somewhere cheaper, maybe dealing with, you know, um, problems in the complex, dealing with roaches, dealing with, you know, some of the other things you gotta deal with. But I don't care. I'm gonna just pay for what I got because it ain't gonna be that price forever, okay? Like, or not the price, but I'm not gonna make what I'm making now forever. I'm gonna make more eventually, okay? And that's what I want y'all to understand. Um, we're to the point that we're in this country if we're not achieving what the next man is achieving or wants to achieve we're quick to down that man and try to put him at our level it's crab in a bucket or whatever it is mentality okay um we gotta get off that and just level up boss up you know i might spend two years you know paying for this place not having too much left actually not because i'm, I'm gonna always make more then you know I need because I'm gonna just work harder and work longer and, and do more to achieve um, the goals I have in mind. You know I'm not gonna slack. But once again, look, like yes, five fifty thousand dollars in bills every month is nasty for a lot of people. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna make eighty ninety thousand dollars and I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna figure out a way. That's what we used to do as men. But now it's like we just cower and complain and whine. Oh poor me, I can't afford. $4,500 to live a life that I want to live, to be able to do this and be able to do that. I can't afford it, so I'm going to just cry and like, and then go on a, some man's channel and try to make him stupid or crazy for wanting the life that I want, that I don't want to, you know, strive to, to achieve and, and do. I'll just say, oh my God, I wish I could have it. Wishing gets you nowhere. You got to do it, okay? And that's something that I've been allowing to, to come into my life is people that's been trying that been trying to soften me and try to make me give up on the things that I want. The things that and it ain't about once again me looking like a baller or me trying to live and be, act like I'm a millionaire. No, it ain't that. You know, it's me wanting a, a that's best a good of a quality of life that I that I, I can afford that allow me to continue doing something that will make me enough money to pay all my bills, which is with Lyft. Right now, I'm gonna just focus on the Lyft instead of a million other things, Lyft. And then YouTube money is going up, so now I'm gonna have the YouTube money as the side money. And it's that simple, and that's what we're gonna do here. And then, as I continue with YouTube and continue with other things, I'm going to look to strike gold with something more lucrative than Lyft in the near future. But the whole point of the matter is, you know, you gotta sometimes put yourself in a bad situation to make yourself a stronger person. You know, if you just sit back and just get by and just, you know, um, you know, just barely make it, then guess what? You're never gonna get to where you wanna be because most of us wanna be in a better position. And like I said, money ain't never ever been the motive, okay? I just want to be able to, like I want that Apple headset that's coming out. It's $3,500. I want to be able to buy that and wait in line when it comes out and get it, okay? But right now, I can't even think about getting it. I want to be one of those people that say, oh, I can't afford it. I can't do it. No, that's technology. That's going to change the world, okay? That that uh, virtual reality, you know, that's the next, next phase. Like, we have computers. We have phones. Like, that VR headset is the next thing. It's going to eventually... Um, you know, move over to glasses doing what that VR headset does. Like regular glasses, they're gonna be expensive too. And I wanna be able to engage in that because I enjoy technology. But I can't do it if I just sit here and allow people to like push me to like just making enough. Like yes, I can make, I can do 50 hours of lift and I'm only gonna make a thousand dollars after gas and everything, maybe a thousand dollars, but am I gonna be happy? No, um, I can do 80 hours and just do 80 hours a week, take one day off, so pretty much 12 hours, 
six days a week, okay? And then um, accumulate eight hours in between doing something else. You know, it might be DoorDash for an hour on the way home or whatever such, okay? But 80 hours, I can do that. Or let's just be more realistic, 70 hours, I can do that. 70 hours is gonna net you about $1,400 with the way I got the situation set up. So that means I'm going to make an additional $1,000 a month in excess money after paying all the bills, okay? So I don't know how hard it is to understand that just because your life is what you want it to be, you want a simple life, you don't want to um, strive to get what you would actually be happy with, that ain't for me. That ain't for me. I'm going to push, strive, kick, do whatever I got to do to make what to make what I want to make happen. And that's one that's the mentality y'all need to have. And if you got people around you that are continue telling you to like cut down, you're never going to be that, then guess what? If that, if that life that they're trying to get you to cut down to cuz listen, it's a difference from like if your bills are $8,000 and you, you know, your $8,000 and you're only making the freaking $80,000. Yes, I get it, okay? Like that's kind of stupid when you're by yourself, you're you're you're, you're 8,000 and you're only making say 80, yes, I get it. But we're talking, majority of Americans are making 50,000 because we just do enough. So of course my bills are gonna be more, but no, I can make 80, 100. I just gotta make some sacrifices in my life, you know? And that's where we're at, okay? So if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. But that's my mindset, that's my thinking, that's what we got going on right now. But like I said before, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and hit the like button once again. I'm out, peace.